Welcome to yet another Lunar Republic takeover, my subjects. This is your queen and DJ, Nightmare Moon. Unfortunately, tonight we have no guest. But don't worry, you get to listen to me speak for the next three hours. Won't that be just delightful? Figures. I never get a takeover to myself anymore. Some pony always has to bother me. I just got an urgent letter from Princess Celestia. Tech Rat is trapped in here, and I'm just the pony to help. Oh, not you again. Now what makes you think Tech Rat's trapped here, much less that you can stop me alone? But I'm not alone. That's right, I'm here too. Oh, another DJ? Are we doing a special guest time then? Who else is hiding back there? Come out! Brush, 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 brush! The dentist too? Let me guess. The baker and candlestick maker are there as well? Look, do you want our help or are you just going to make snarky comments? Wait, your help? Now why would I ever need your help? The three of us are unicorns. We can use our magic to help. To help what, exactly? So far, you've barged into my show, made outlandish claims that Tech Rat's trapped here, and then offered unneeded help? Are you losing it again, Twilight? I recall a little magic kindergarten incident back in Ponyville. Wasn't it needed, wasn't it? Let's not talk about that. Wait, I have a question. How exactly does one brush their teeth when trapped in a dungeon? Well, they don't, from my understanding. One does not simply not brush their teeth! Colgate, calm down! I'll have to apologize for my friend here. She gets a little crazy about her brushing routines. Ugh, alright. While we get to the music, I'm going to find out just what exactly these three intruders want. Needs more bass! And brushy. Fine. More brushy and more whoops coming up next. Alright, let me get this right. Vinyl's here to turn up the base up to the max on my equipment. Colgate's here because some hypothetical tech rat in the dungeon ends up brushing his teeth. And Twilight's here... why? Celestia and I had an agreement. I could rule alongside her as long as I didn't try to bring Eternal Night again. Are you here to break that treaty, Twilight? How many times do I have to tell you we are trying to help Techrat? And how many times must I say that he's not here? Why would you even want to save him, much less... Ugh... Help him? It was an order from Princess Celestia. I just do what she tells me to. Great. So combined with the constant pranks she pulls, now she's barging her faithful student into my business. Hey! No pony insults the princess like that! <sighs> I think every pony should just calm down and listen to some music. I at no point insulted my sister. However, Final does have a good point. Take it away, DJ. There, you see? No tech right in any of the dungeons. How can you be so sure? Well, for one, do you know of any other dungeons? And do you see him at all? No, I guess not. Maybe this was some kind of mistake. Well, in that case, let's get out of here. Wait! <sighs> Princess Cadence, what are you doing here? I was imprisoned too, remember? By that evil changeling queen. And no pony believed me, just like no pony believes Takra. It's not that we don't believe him, it's just that we don't see him anywhere. Let me try something. What exactly do you expect to find? He's not in this dungeon. I simply do not see why my niece has to be so stubborn about these things. <sighs> Another dungeon? Explain yourself, Nightmare Moon! Now why would I ever have to explain myself? I never said there wasn't another dungeon. I also never said he was in this dungeon. I found him! The human that didn't brush! I can certainly smell it from here. Is brushing one's teeth really that important at a time like this? It's always important! As important as the fact that we should go back to the music? Don't you agree, Vinyl? I mean, what's a DJ set without music? Maybe I can use these wubs to blast him out of here! I hope not! 
Cadence already has a lot to repair and pay for. By hoof. No magic allowed. Destroying the castle piece by piece. You should be ashamed. Whatever. Let's just turn up the base already. There, you see? He's been well fed on tacos. Jesus tacos, but tacos nonetheless. I mean, you rescuing him just doesn't make any sense considering his heinous crimes. Taking over various broadcasts and having others take the fall? Despicable. But neglecting your teeth is the worst crime of all! I agree. I mean, I can smell his breath from here. Ugh. Hey now, my breath isn't that bad. Techrat, you're alive! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Techrat, come out and do a little shake. That is the very last thing we need to see. Techrat coming out and shaking his rear? My niece, I want you to put that image in your head and think on it very hard. And then tell me if you agree. Ah! Okay, that's an image even I wouldn't force onto anyone. You really are a monster! Can we please calm down and focus on the task at hoof? That cage is really strong, so we're going to need to use all of our magic combined to break down the barrier. Yes, like the fact poor Vinyl isn't getting her daily allowance of wubs. Scratch must be so famished. All right, I'll blast him out with wubs. Colgate, you can use brushy. Twilight, use one of your fancy magic spells. And Cadence, well, you're an alicorn, so just do something super cool and powerful. Got, Got it. Remind me to send you all the bills for repairs. Wait, you're gonna do all this while I'm still in the dungeon? Have mercy! It's the only way we can get you out of here. Okay, girls, on three. One, two... No, wait! Three! <sighs> okay, I'm out. Now what? Now you brush your While they're over there trying to figure out what to do with you, and how you got here in the first place, Tekret, have you learned your lesson? If you mean have I learned to never turn my back on you when there's a heavy object in the room, then yes. Yes, I have. I still have a lump there, you know. Oh, you mean you haven't learned not to take over other programs? Oh, Tekret, I am so disappointed in you. But as a reward for at least learning something, if you look behind you, there are tacos with cheese. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna fall for that again. Okay, suit yourself. No, it can't be. That's probably the only taco here. There can't be more tacos behind me. Not delicious, delicious tacos. So crunchy and good. Oh, what the heck, I'll chance it. Where? Bonk! Ow! I was telling the truth. There are tacos. But I never said I wouldn't hit you again. You see, this is why I took you off my Hearth's Warming Eve card list. And? None of us even cared about your cards. We found them boring and trite. We actually had a party when you stopped sending them to me. Sure, go ahead. Insult my attempts to spread good cheer. In a few moments, it won't matter anyway. Twilight and her friends are going to take me away from this place, and I'll never have to deal with your snide humor again. Oh? You really think that? Alright, go ahead and look at Twilight and her friends. And look just past them. See that perfectly well-constructed robotic version of yourself? I made it while they were distracted. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding. You created a fake me? Really? Well, of course. Why don't you go introduce yourself? <sighs> Fine. I see where this is going. They're going to be all, oh no, which is the real tech rat? And we're going to go through a whole comedy routine where I have to convince them that I am the real me. Do you realize how cliché this is? Well, yeah. What kind of villain do you think I am? I'm nothing if not traditional. Greetings, my subjects. And Cadence. Look who I found. Not now. We're trying to see if Techrat is okay. But I'm over here. Wow, did you see that? His lips didn't even move when he spoke. Maybe he's a ventriloquist. I'm not a ventriloquist. You're looking at a robot! Wait. There's two of them? The brushies have been doubled. Would you forget about hygiene for a moment? Nightmare Moon is trying to confuse you. You should never forget about hygiene. It is very important to brush your teeth. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm very proud of you, Tech Rat. That's not me! 
Yes, it is. This is making my head spin right round. Like a record, baby. How do we tell them apart? Well, the shiny one has a good opinion of personal maintenance. I vote for that one. That is a robot! It, it probably doesn't even have teeth! Okay, so that's one vote for the shiny one. What? <laughs> Vinyl, surely you can tell the difference, right? Um, it's hard to tell. Doesn't help that it's night and I'm wearing sunglasses. Why don't you take them off? The animators won't let me. What can I do to convince you that I am me? I would recommend a dance off. Oh, that's a great idea. The real tech rat would probably be the better dancer. What dance should they do? How about the robot? Oh, come on! Wow, that was the best rendition of the robot I've ever seen. So that's two votes for the shiny one. You should be ashamed of yourself, Robo Rat. Try to act like the real one. My vote's for the shiny tech rat, too. I hate you so much right now. Three votes for Mr. Shiny. Your turn, Cadence. What sort of test would help you decide between them? Brushy brushy! That's your answer to everything, Colgate. Brushy. Well, let's assume for a moment that one of them is a changeling. Changelings can't love, so whichever one can better express feelings of love must be the real one. Okay, let's start with the shiny one. Why does he get to go first? Because he's winning. Okay, what sorts of things do you love? I love kittens, and rainbows, and sunny days. Give me a break. And what about you, non-shiny tech rat? Well, uh, I, uh, I kinda tolerate puppies? The shiny one. Definitely the shiny one. That's four. I'm never getting out of here, am I? No, you're not, Roborat. You're going to be handed over to the robot police and melted down for scrap. It would beat being stuck in here with you. What about with Pinkie Pie? Don't say that name! I still have PTSD from my previous experience! PTSD? Pinkie Traumatic Stress Disorder! Well, it looks like I'm the only one left who needs to choose. Well, I'm sure I have this one in the bag, Nightmare Moon. Twilight is too smart to be fooled by your silly contraption. <sighs> I've never had to tell a person apart from an evil duplicate before. I wish I had a book about this. Oh, I have a book right here. How to tell a person apart from an evil duplicate, a reference guide. Oh, wow, that's convenient, thanks. You're not seriously gonna use that, are you? It's being given to you by the Mayor of Darkness herself. Heck, she probably wrote it. Nope, it says right there it's written by Night Moon Mayor. Sounds like someone I'd like. That's good enough for me. I'm surrounded by idiots. Says the idiot who got captured by me in the first place. Hush. Okay, so the book says the first indicator of being an evil duplicate is that they are almost always the second one to respond to a question. Would you agree, Tech Rat? Yes, I would. That makes no sense at all! The non-shiny one responded second. This is ridiculous! That book is a load of bunk! The second indicator of being an evil duplicate. They will question this book. Don't! Oh! Wow, whoever wrote this book really knew their stuff! What else does the book say? Well, it says there is one more way to identify an evil duplicate, and that is... Brushy Brushy? Colgate! Okay. Sorry. The book says that only the real one will know the answer to this question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen Pegasus? Well, it depends. Are we talking a Rainbow Dash level Pegasus or a Fluttershy level Pegasus? 42 miles per hour, assuming no wind resistance. That's correct. How can that be correct? There wasn't enough information to answer the question! The non-shiny one is questioning the book again. Well, I'm convinced. Me too. Come on, shiny tech rat. We're getting you out of here. Oh boy, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everypony, this is the end of this Lunar Republic takeover. And I believe it even has a happy ending this time. At least for a few of us. Not so much tech rap. You know, Nightmare Moon, I don't think they ever realized that you were the one who imprisoned me in the first place. Of course not. I felt it best not to tell them. I mean, why would they ever need to know? Yeah, I can't think of any reason. <sighs> I guess I'm stuck here. 
Again. Well, I wouldn't say that. The robot police are on their way as we speak. Wait, you mean you really called them? Of course! Well, I'm sure I'll be okay. I mean, I'm certain they can tell the difference between a robot and a person. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that. Why not? Because they use my book as well. Run, little tech rat, run! No, no! You're a monster! Run away! Run away! Now that we've gotten rid of tech rat, I will see everypony next Friday. Everyone give a thank you to our guests, Rena Chan and Tech Rat. Say goodbye, both of you. And thank you very much, Rena, for coming on to the show today. Goodbye, and don't forget to brush your teeth. Well, I definitely want to thank Rena Chan for providing her amazing talent. Um, it was so much fun to work with you on this. And Nightmare Moon, normally I would thank you for having me on your show again, but after the way you treated me tonight, why on earth would I want to? Because you get paid in tacos to be abused. Don't you love it? <laughs> <laughs>